If you invented a car that ran on stupidity, where would you go to refuel? I think the list of places you couldn't refuel is much shorter. Place number one Sahara Desert, Therese no people, I think I don't know. The person who check would have unlimited fuel. The driver would be like I gotta be close to someone, I'm still full. Imagine driving in a dark alleyway thinking you're all alone, then suddenly the fuel tank fills up. That's a nice one sentence horror story. You're either foolish for thinking you're alone in this quiet, dark alleyway and that has supernatural connotations, or someone so ridiculously stupid, they're capable of filling up your tank form just barely being in range showed up and that's a scary thought by itself. Driving in traffic would just keep you maxed out all the time. As long as there are people around, you'll have a full tank. Even in a university town you will find that ample fuel just approach any admin office for maximum fuel transfer. I am a navy guy at a university and also do a good bit of traditional IT support too. Let me tell you, the most educated people in any institution can also be the absolute dumbest, except in their area of expertise of course. I generally like them all when they aren't pissed off about something but damn. There is so much I could say to this as a construction worker that deals with people who think they're always right, because it's what they drew up in AutoCAD. The only guy I actually respected when we had questions is he said, sounds like a field problem. It sucked because what was being asked was not right, but he was basically saying, I can only predict so much. You guys need to make it work. It was kind of an eye-opener that they have to trust the guys in field to really get it done. I'm ranting so hard dude I'm sorry. Got way off track lol. As a BIM guy, 3D design, fully coordinated, we had crews who would regularly ignore the drawings, inevitably run into another trade, then call us to fix it. We eventually sent them a memo with the revised package referring to the mil tf 41 spec for all questions. Make it like the fucking drawing for once. There were a lot fewer issues with proper communication after that. Shit, a guy I worked under always gave me the sounds like an opportunity to succeed. Man I was successful on that job. Props to your guy though. He knew his limitations and didn't BS you. Former IT guy for a college. Get a call. Professor, the computer is broken in my classroom. The light is on, but the computer isn't working. Me, okay. Be there in a minute, same building. Walks into classroom, assess the PC. Pushes power button, PC turns on. Attempts to quickly leave the room to not humiliate the professor in front of her class. Professor, what was wrong with the PC? Me, the PC was off, I just turned it on. Oh my god, I have seen this happen. Bet that guy has a PC from the early 2000s attached to the network and refuses to upgrade it because he doesn't want to learn how to integrate newfangled technology into the outdated research equipment in his lab. Maybe park near the dorms and frat houses on the weekend, and up by admin through the week. I certainly don't remember many good decisions being made a 2 a.m. on a weekend. Many of those bad decisions became epic stories later. But that was just luck that no one got really hurt. I wouldn't even have to go anywhere to refuel. I'm the one I need. A true perpetual motion engine. Yes. That's exactly right. But having that thought makes you too smart to power it. No. Damn these loopholes. That Nobel Prize is mine. I just watched that. Awesome. On to the next task. Become prime minister and make humans suffer by turning sales tax to 100%. Tax devil is the true terror of that anime. A perpetual moron engine. But it surely would be a clown car where the wheels keep falling off, with a bear riding in the back. You're so stupid, you'd go to a normal petrol station and put petrol in it. Causing the engine to break. Unlimited power. Yes. It will be unstoppable. Gestures broadly at everywhere. Just plug your phone up and let TikTok play. Unlimited refills. Free gas or not, it ain't worth it. I just open the Facebook comments section and read to my car while I'm driving. Unlimited fuel. If you read while driving you're all the fuel you'll need a winking face. Just the surrounding cars driving like assholes around you is all you need. We all fuel our cars on road rage, genius. Exactly. 
My best friend in high school was killed when the other driver was texting and drifted onto the wrong side of the road. Sometimes I miss when that sentence wouldn't have been possible. But to be honest even back then drivers did stupid shit, we just didn't have signs everywhere telling you not to use your freaking mobile computer and drive at the same time. And now I dated myself and feel old. I'd ask the kid who I used to tutor. The kid asked me questions like who invented the moon? The kid was in 8th grade. Neil Armstrong invented the moon, duh. Well, it was really Yuri Gagarin, but you know how history was during the Cold War. No, no Gagarin invented space. Nah man. That was just the upper atmosphere. John Glenn invented space with the power of his massive balls. So before either invented space, were all words written like this in a sentence? Indeed they did. Reading was much harder back then. The kid sounds like a genius, he simply refuses to believe the narrative and questions everything. Those influencer houses full of TikTokers or Instagrammers or YouTubers etc. I'd have my sister sit in the passenger seat and tell me where Europe is. Infinite fuel glitch. For context, she once said Europe is in England, right? We live in damn England and she's in her mid-teens. I live in the US and someone tried telling me that Wyoming is in Texas. There is a Wyoming in Rhode Island though. And in New South Wales, but not in Texas. They must have been thinking of Paris. Paris Texas, Paris Tennessee, or Paris France? None of the above. Paris, Maine of course. Thank you for enlightening me on yet another Paris. Paris Ontario, Canada pulled a sneaky. How many Paris are there? Paris, Kentucky as well. Paris, Denmark, Kiribati, Panama, Ontario, they're everywhere. I live in Hawaii and a tourist asked me if I've ever been to the States. Uh, I live in the States. I live in New Mexico, got asked if I ever been to the US. Lol as well. I work retail. I would never run out. Edit, thank you for the awards, kind strangers. Also, I'm a doctor of pharmacy. I still get treated the same as when I was a cashier or waitress. And all my retail friends need to watch the Brion Show Superstore on Hulu. It's nice to know misery has company. Never go full retail. Survive. This isn't ringing upright. Must be free the end. Ha 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 ho. Line is empty for the 50th time of the day you look be horrid. Let's give YUS a mething to do. Customer about to pay how much do you owe we me? Ah ah ha ha ha. Just printed this $100 bill this morning. I work at a dealership and have to check every bill that comes through my office. If I was able to take the money for myself every time the customer said just printed them earlier I'd be rich. Eons ago I worked retail in a small hobby shop, and a couple passed some counterfeit currency just as one of the owners showed up. He was 6 feet 7 inches and in full dress uniform, he was a major in the Army National Guard and had been to some function. He literally held the couple, one in each hand, until the police and then Secret Service showed up. They were terrified and we, who had nothing to do with any of it, weren't far behind. TL, DR don't pass counterfeit currency. What if they didn't know it was counterfeit? Like it was passed to them? This was before ATMs, yeah, I mentioned and was about 17 at the time, so it's possible but unlikely. Since it got as far as the secret service, I'm assuming that there was probable cause to believe that they'd been passing it out throughout the local community but I don't know for sure. The agents didn't tell us much when they interviewed us. Physical location? Walmart. As a Walmart employee, I stand behind this answer. As a former Walmart HQ employee, I also stand behind this. Probably could power it by corporate leadership alone. Corporate leadership would be a twin turbo LS swap V10 auto with Ferrari intakes with drag slicks and a parachute. As a current Walmart cashier, I also stand behind this. It would also be the perfect place to go if my car was powered by closeted or unconscious racism. These Walmart people standing behind each other, lol. Making a queue or something? I'd plug it into my golden retriever, when he was still alive. Holy shit that dog was a big fluffy lovable idiot. Goldens traded their brains for a second heart. So sweet. So loving. So fucking dumb. My golden retriever got sprayed by skunks more than any other dog I've ever owned or met. 
No matter how often she got sprayed she never learned not to chase the stinky black and white thing. I'd go to a Trump rally. That could fuel interstellar travel. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Like. Share. And comment down.